HeartMath Institute is really excited to be working with uh, the MOM Moments of Mass uh, Meditation movement uh, using our new Global Coherence app. There's a great synergy between HeartMath Institute and MOM. MOM is about a peace movement and HeartMath Institute is really about developing practical understandings and tools and techniques for peace, starting with how we develop our own inner peace and inner connection. And we do this by helping people connect with their own hearts, their deeper hearts, intuitive guidance. Heart math is a practical way to help people connect with their deeper heart and connect with others and ultimately the global field environment. Specifically, heart math helps people achieve heart coherence and coherence is really the activator for peace. And oftentimes, this is one of the big problems in communication. If we're not really aligned, between what we're saying and what we're feeling. And for some people it might be they just got a bad some bad news before the conversation. That's nothing to do with you, but they're feeling that, you know, worry or upset or whatever it is, but that's being communicated. So that's in our local field environment. And also experiments have now been done, but independently of us and, and we've also done them that show that if we're able to maintain our personal coherence, being a heart coherent state, that, that creates a more coherent field environment and that that can actually have a, a lifting effect on others. In fact, it can help elevate them into a more coherent state. doesn't mean it's going to happen, but it, the, but it certainly makes an, ad, an atmosphere that makes it easier for people to shift into to more coherence and find their own balance. So when we're, in, uh, when we're doing uh, meditations together, or, or heart, especially heart-focused meditations, when we're uh, really increasing our heart coherence and, and the fields of our coherence, there can be a, a definite amplification effect when we do this together certainly locally when you're in groups in fact one of the most common things we hear from people doing heart coherence training is how much easier it is to get into a coherent state and sustain it when they're in a group when they're there with others and you're creating a larger group field effect now this is uh, kind of moves us so that's sort of the local explanation and we for sure we know that's happening then we can also take it to the global level so one of our hypotheses um, is that the Earth's magnetic field acts just like our cell phone carrier wave, and that our, that especially hearts, but hearts and brains, are coupled to the information we're radiating couples to the Earth's magnetic field. So it's now distributed globally. So what I'm really saying here is what we feel inside, whether we're self-aware of what we're feeling or not, doesn't just stay inside of us. It, it is carried by the magnetic fields of the heart externally and, and has a measurable effect on others. And then the next step of that is su suggesting that it also couples to the Earth's magnetic field. So it's really like a giant computer, I call it the global information field, that all humans are connected to, whether they know it or not. Now it's wonderful when we come together in, in meditations together, because we can amplify the, the coherent signal and put a much stronger signal into the global field environment that makes it easier for others to wake up, to, to become more into coherence, to align with their deeper selves. But we also have to think about, well, what about all the other hours and times of a day when we're not together in a group, or we're not doing a meditation, or a heart lock-in, as we call it? We're still coupled to the field. So one of the things I really encourage people to do is to take some moments throughout the day and pause, do a spot check. What am I feeding the field? Is it frustration, anxiety, maybe feelings of overwhelm, impatience because I didn't get my to-do list done on time, or, or how much of the ratio are we feeding to feel kindness, compassion, care, appreciation. So it all counts. And at the end of the day, it's the totality of what all of humanity is feeding the field. But here's where coherence is really important because coherence organizes noise. So when we come together in, uh, in groups to meditate or have heartfelt intentions towards peace, and that coherence increases the coupling to the magnetic field so we can put out a much clearer, stronger signal. The research would suggest even a few people in a highly coherent state can have more effectiveness than lots of people in an incoherent state. This is one of the, the benefits of the new Global Coherence app. It'll really help train us how to get into coherence at the group level and measure it. The Global Coherence app, whether people have a sensor or not, will be able to track who's there participating. So we'll be able to track the number of people that are involved in the meditation, 
and where they're located. So it'll be a great way of tracking that. And for those that do have a sensor or choose to get one, we'll actually be able to measure and track how much coherence, heart coherent energy they contribute to the global field. And that's really exciting because this has never been done before. To do science, we have to measure things. So we've created, or still working on it, by creating what's called the Global Coherence Monitoring System. And these are ex exquisitely sensitive magnetometers that are designed to measure the resonant frequencies in the Earth's magnetic field. And there's lots of magnetometers around the Earth for space weather and so on, but they're different than these uh, because these are designed to measure the resonant frequencies, which are the moving fields. Nothing like this has ever done before, and we're really excited to see the results.